Hello again. In this video I will show you an interesting sensor in which you can equip your current weather station. This is a wireless multi-channel soil moisture sensor, handy option for meticulous gardeners and owners of demanding plants. With the wireless sensor you will be able to control the hydration of your lawn or flower that is sensitive to dryness. The soil moisture sensor works like any other eco weed sensors. If you have already a weather station from the company like HP3501 or HP2553, after inserting the battery the sensor will be detected quite quickly by the console and uh, will show the measured soil moisture. You don't have to have the entire station though. Instead, in the cheaper version, after purchasing the JW1000 Wi-Fi gateway, you can monitor soil moisture via the WSView mobile application on your phone. And if you have a very extensive crop, you want to control soil moisture in many plants, you can observe the water content in up to 8 locations at once. The design of the device is very light and simple. The sensor itself is a flat metal blade with an LED signaling the sensing of the of data to the console every 70 um, seconds and with a compartment for one AA battery. The company even offers a display on which you can monitor the, the measurements on an ongoing basis. Unfortunately, it must be purchased uh, separately, which can be a disadvantage for customers who care primarily about soil conditions. The sensor is small so that it can fit into a small pot. The data is registered as a values from 70 at total drought to 200 at 100% of hydration. They are converted, these values are converted into percentages. You need, you need only one AA battery for the operation of the sensor. According to the manufacturer's assurance, should last for a battery should last for a year of use. As for me, the most useful application of the WH-51 sensor is to control the humidity of lawn turf. Thanks to this, it can prevent the grass from drying out in the summer or spring, but you can also save uh, water because you know exactly when the lawn actually, actually needs it. The range of the sensor reaches approximately 30 meters so there should be no problem with reading the data through the internet gateway or station console and at home. Bear in mind however to hammer the sensor tip gently because it is quite thin and can crumble in the harder dry soil. The sensor informs about humidity every 70 seconds which is for me the most sufficient frequency. I kept the device in the garden for a month and it was resistant to heavy rainfall and frost. It can remain in the ground even in winter without any interruption. In principle, it is possible to carry out measurements at minus temperatures, but with frozen ground it does not make sense. The sensor can be used to control soil hydration in our potted plants or outside for plants where water control matters. Data can be tracked on the screen of your mobile phone in the WS View application. Here the measurement for very dry sensitive area and just after heavy watering. The sensor response is very fast.
The big advantage of the, of the device is its calibration mode, because the measurements should be tailored to your needs and above all related to the type of uh, soil whose humidity we want to control. If you consider that the percentages shown are too low or high in the user mode in the mobile application, you can manually recalibrate them. For this pur purpose, we, uh, you can stick your sensor to the most uh, dry ground, the kind of soil that uh, will be measured, and assign the measured value a level of 0% i.e. set it as a factor of 0% AD. Similarly, you can set the percentage value for the most irrigated uh, soil, put the sensor in and you assign the value shown to the AD 100% AD factor. I did not think uh, that such a calibration was needed uh, in my case because I wanted to have 100% humidity when the sensor is basically immersed in water and so my sensor operates according to the factory settings.
data can also be sent to the ecoweed.net website, where they are presented in the form of a graph. And so, if you have a sensor outside, you can see how the humidity of the ground changes with heavy rainfall and how much time it takes, for example, our your lawn is able to endure without watering. Thanks to Rafael Di Martino's plugin for soil moisture presentation. It is even possible to publish data on the internet on your weather station's website. Here you can see that the humidity point at which watering is required depends on the type of soil, but usually a decrease in hydration below 40% suggests that you need to water your plant or loan. Finally here are the HP 3501 station console uh, where as you can tell the soil moisture value is also displayed. It is also possible for 255 uh, free console. Data from the WH51 sensor can also be downloaded to your computer by USB connection. In summary the soil quality sensor will certainly uh, interest people who care about uh, controlling the irrigation of their cultivated plants at home or in the garden. It works great if you want to keep your lawn in good uh, condition. It also costs uh, not much, less than uh, $20, but uh, many may consider it an unnecessary gadget not closely related to the weather. However, there is a trend on the market to cover every possible element of our envir environment. Whether we use it depends only on us. Thank you for your attention.